When your Honda Accord's check engine and VSA lights turn on simultaneously, and the accelerator ceases to cooperate, rendering the car essentially a fancy driveway ornament, you're dealing with a situation that, to say the least, is less than ideal. So what's going on here? This symphony of illuminated warnings and vehicular paralysis is usually the car's way of throwing up the white flag and screaming, hey, I've got issues. The Vehicle Stability Assist, VSA system, is designed to help the car maintain traction. When it's glaring at you along with the check engine light, it's often a signal that the issue isn't just about traction, it's something more. First off, let's tackle what might have gone south. It's critical to understand that the VSA system interacts with several other systems in your vehicle, including the engine management system. When something goes horribly wrong with the engine management, the VSA might get disabled as a precautionary measure because, well, stability isn't much of a concern when you can't accelerate. A common culprit here could be the throttle body or the associated sensors. If the car's computer can't get an accurate read on what the engine is up to, it might decide to play it safe, shutting down acceleration, and leaving you with a car that's got as much get-up-and-go as a potted plant. But don't just throw darts at a board to figure this out. The check engine light is your friend here, despite its ominous glow. Plug in an OBD2 reader. This will do something equivalent to translating your car's Morse code SOS into plain English, obviously car lingo English. You can grab a reader at most auto shops, or if you feel like mingling with fellow car enthusiasts, swing by your local mechanics shop. I'm based in Portland, Oregon, by the way a place where you tend to get to know your local mechanic, thanks to the generous variety of street conditions and weather we get here. If you reside around these parts, you'll find that having a trusty mechanic is as essential as good coffee and a waterproof jacket. Once you've got your error codes, you'll have a clearer picture of what's happening. Could be a simple sensor replacement. Could be your Accord decided to go the extra mile and fry something a bit more expensive. Whatever the case, your first step is diagnosis. I wish I could just say, tap the dashboard three times, Turn the ignition key clockwise twice and whisper VTEC power to fix your car. But it takes a bit more than that, although that would add a touch of magic to an otherwise tedious process. My advice? Get the car to a professional. This isn't really a DIY situation unless you've got mechanic credentials or at least a hefty dose of car repair savvy. Stay calm, troubleshoot systematically, and don't ignore what your car is trying to tell you. No need to panic, unless of course you're late for a meeting. But even then, Panicking won't get your Honda moving any quicker. Good luck.